gonna start doing random rants and video logs and random thoughts and stuff some people might think sounds crazy, stuff some people might think sounds pretty agreeable. Rational mind or critical thinking, blah 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 blah, whatever you want to call it. It's called waking up. Now, my complaint for this evening, and actually it's been my complaint the past few weeks, has been when I get playing this once in a while, I can't stand to sit and play Call of Duty for hours. There's some kids out there that they play it so long, the television screen becomes more visible and they see and are able to see this target set are normally not that visible and you don't catch it right away with the normal eye. But these kids are so locked onto the screen, that's all they see. And this is all they do. They get home from school, they get home from their part time McDonald's job, and they game and game and game for hours on end, they prestige how many times over, I'm not even sure, I think it's like seven, level 70 or 80 and then you get to prestige and do it all over again. That's all they do. And they just sit there and cheese people out all day because they figured out how the game plays. Now, you could sit there your whole life playing these over and over and over. Or you can get up, off your butt, ha, I almost swore there, and go to Canadian Tire, Walmart, TSC, Whatever your store is that sells, you know, fun. Stop wasting your money on these. Start buying stuff like these. Do not be alarmed. These are nothing threatening. I'll explain what each and every one of these is in a minute for those people that just don't understand, you know, out of first glance. I know some people that look at this and they'd be like, oh my god, he's a freaking terrorist. You know, I'm like whiter than white, well kind of pink, if I get sick I turn kind of green, if I drown or stop breathing I might turn blue, if I get mad I turn red, so not really white, but you get the idea, right? So, stop wasting your money on these, look at this, $26, that's about what that one cost me, this here brand new, it's like $40, Ghosts, if you go and get it brand new, it's still like $50, and that new one coming out is like 60 bucks. Altogether, the amount that all these games would have cost new, not to mention the system you play it on, and the inter amount for internet that you pay. You could buy all these and probably still have money left over for tons of ammo, targets, blah blah blah. Uh, that's the other thing. By the way, I don't shoot anything living. I can't. I don't see the point in wasting life when so many humans already do that quite well enough. If I'd ever shoot anything, it would be probably somebody endangering another person's life, or, you know, fight or flight, I think is what the saying is. Ah, there's Shaz. Don't lick the BB gun, please. None of these are loaded, none of them have CO2 in them, or pumped or anything. Completely harmless. Cat lovers, don't freak out. I never put my animals in danger. Humans, maybe, but not animals. They ain't done nothing. So, Pumpmaster 760, Crossman, uh, pellet, BB gun, 495 feet per second, comes with, if you get it in the kit, a uh, nice 4x15 scope, uh, a friend of mine, the Wookie, Chewy, you know who you are, he always dials everything in for me, so he's going to be the one who sets the scope on that hopefully this weekend done a nice job on that one already. I think competition range, the targets you get with it is say 25 feet and I just 25 feet is not good enough. We go back with 60 to 100 feet depending on how windy it is and we're still able to hit pretty accurate on the targets. Something like this is more of a challenge than say doing it with a 22. Uh, here in Canada our gun laws are pretty restrictive so what I can get for fun compared to what some of you people in the US of A can get for fun are a lot different. I feel like moving to Russia where I could get an actual FAMAS and uh, have it legally. I mean, Russia, if you want to own a tank and drive it down the road street legal, all you got to do is disable the friggin' cannon. You can still drive that tank down the road. On with this. This fires both BBs and pellets, has a nice reservoir quick and easy loading system for them. You pump it ten times and probably get you up to that 495 feet per second. This here is 
Umarex XBG. Now the XBG is actually the handgun and the TAC converter is what turns it into the carbine rifle. I'll try and do this and keep it in camera range so you can see what I'm doing. How did I do that? I'll try and do this in front of the camera so you can actually see what I mean. You gotta lift that, pop her back, slide that, hit it right down. Umarex XBG. It's a nice magazine, 18 BBs. You go through them in about, I don't know, 6 to 8 seconds. CO2. This one, she empty right now. It goes back together just as quick and easy. I got this as my second BB gun. And I actually like it a lot. I've heard some people say some bad things on, well, read some things on the comments for when people have done field tests on them and whatnot. And I think Umarex has got their stuff down pretty good. That's just me, though, and I'm still new into it. I have yet to really try some more of the top end stuff. There we go. Folds down, actually comes off. I'm not a fan of the sights on it. If you're looking at something really far away, yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna line the camera up. Don't walk in front, kitty. You get the idea. Umarex XBG, you get it for 60 bucks in Canada at Walmart. That's actually really good, I think, for what it is. And of course, this gun is, is a marksman. I think it was a 220 something or other was the name of it, but it's part of a zombie series. You get some nice zombie targets with it. Uh, fairly simple, easy loading. I'm not going to bother doing that right now, actually. You want to see what it does? Go get one. This. This is made by Cybergun. It is airsoft, fires, it claims 370 feet per second. I just did a video about it, so if you want to see it, it's on my channel. Um, really nice. I forget how many, it's 30 or 40, maybe even 50, I, I can't remember. 30 at least. Well, it's 30 rounds of 6 millimeter, 0.12 gram ammunitions, BB plastic bullet thingy, plastic BBs, there you go. There's a mount for more gear underneath the, um, the rail. Nice little flashlight up top. It's not the brightest, but it'll do if you're in complete dark. And probably one of the bigger selling points for a lot of new people like me is scroll. And you go make you feel all Call of Duty. So the point of the complaint uh, in this video is that you gotta stop sitting around playing this stuff all the time. Go play with some of these. Go hit the woods, set up some targets somewhere, and shoot some targets. Get really dead accurate. Get it, it's fun. I I don't know what else to say. You kids growing up, these teenagers and. You don't know what you're doing by sitting there wasting your time playing this. If there's ever a war on your home front, what are you going to do? Throw your games, your controller, your PlayStation through your Xbox at them? I could see that happening. I really could. Either you hide under your bed hoarding the stuff, hoping nobody breaks in and takes it. But by that time, you have electricity, you'd be so lost already without it. Probably have no idea to do if you ever got your hands on the real version of one of these. I've never filed or fired the real version of one of these, but I would love to work my way up to it someday. It's too bad we have such restrictive gun laws here in Canada, and I won't ever be able to say anytime soon that I've experienced what it feels like to fire a real FAMAS assault rifle. And if I'm correct, if I'm saying that wrong, go ahead and correct me. I really don't care. I'll admit I'm new into this stuff and I'm learning, but I'm a quick study and I'm going to learn fast. 
I'm already pretty damn accurate from a distance with that. I'd love to be a marksman. If you've got great marksman skills, go out and exercise them. Don't just sit there saying, oh, I'm level 70 prestige, but if a war breaks so I'm going to throw my controller at you. End of rant. Have a great night. Don't forget to click like. I hope you enjoyed the video.